What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Alrighty, so, we're here in, uh, Celestic Town? Vi no, we're in Vilestone City, or Veilstone. I don't even know, I like to say Vile, but it's Veilstone City. And, uh, well, we're gonna be taking a small tour of this whole place. Now, these people are talking about the gym leader here. Apparently she is tough, she doesn't wear shoes, she likes to fight, this girl likes parasols and all that stuff. So it must mean one thing. Yes, the, the, the gym leader here is a, uh, <laughs> a fighting type gym leader. Now, these people are talking about the Shellos, the Pokemon that come uh, in different forms in different parts of the regions right here. And then, uh, let's see, what else is here? Let's see, let's grow. Talk to this guy. I'm a trainer, yes I am. Pokemon called Porygon, Team Galactic has one. A wanted one, and, uh, oh, okay, so... Talk to this guy right here, and he will actually give you a Porygon for free because uh, these Team Galactic guys are trying to take all the Pokemon uh, in this town. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm actually going to put one of my Pokemon back into the PC and then grab that Porygon back. Um, yeah, this could have been grounds for me just editing out the whole thing, but uh, I do what I want, you know. I kind of want to record and get this all out so you guys can start watching more of my walkthroughs right here. All right, adjusting my seat. There we go. Okay. Alrighty, so back to this guy's place right here, and he's gonna give me his Porygon. Yes. Porygon. Alrighty, so... This is like the first time I've ever gotten a Porygon in a walkthrough game. And, uh, yeah, these guys... Talking about Team Galactic in such a way. Alright, let's see, what's next? Huh, oh yes, there is a department store right here, so if you want to go... Uh, buy some TM, some uh, vitamins, some, you know, healing items. This is the place to go. I do believe that in the first, yeah, the first, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, look at look at that. We got an accessory right here. Talk to that guy. Get a Piplup mask. And then, uh, well, yeah, this is a place to actually get some, uh, some items, you know. Ber not, not berries, but uh, potions, antidotes, full heals, you know, the works. For me, I'm usually here for uh, I'm usually here for the the TMs. Now, if you talk to this guy right here, he'll give you the counter tech or the counter app for your Poke Tech. And I'm actually going to show you. Yeah, this one just counts the amount of or just counts for you. Um, let's see. Where, this is the one right here. So I should just press that button right there, that plus sign. Bam. You'll actually you know get a counter. I don't even know why you need a counter. You know what? Probably for those who are, sh are shiny hunters. And uh, this is the department area to actually buy vitamins, which of course costs an arm and a leg, and you can actually get X items here too. And uh, let's see, well, there's nothing more right here except just talking to these people right now. All right, let's see, let's move on to the next floor. I think this is the TM place right here, right? Mm, no, this is, yeah, I don't know. Oh yes, this is the place where you can actually buy TMs. As you can see, TM70 is flash. You can always buy it right here. So if you guys wasted, or if you guys feel like you wasted your TM70, don't worry, it's right here. And uh, this guy actually sells more of the the more powerful uh, items like Fire Blast, Hyper Beam, and all that stuff. And then, uh, well, I guess that's pretty much it right there. And why do I keep on talking to this lady? She's just giving me advice of what TMs sh I should buy. And, uh, let's see, if you talk to this guy, nah, he's talking about something else. This right here, you can actually buy some Poke Dolls, which I, you know, you can actually use for, I guess, your uh, your room or something. And, uh, that is another place where you can buy some, like, accessories for a room. I don't think you can actually make a, a secret base, although I do wish, it, I actually do wish it, they, they would have put that, they put that right here. And, uh... Let's see, what else is here? Uh, talk to this guy. Grab a drink. Yes, you can actually get a, grab a drink right here. Don't know if there's anybody that's thirsty. This guy will actually give you the sticky barb. I think this is the item that... Oh yeah, it inflicts damage on the other person if you toss it to someone, I guess. Which, you know, not a lot of people use, but it's still something, you know. Some some kind of form of strategy right there. Now, I'm going to go straight down to the bottom floor first, or the basement floor. And uh, we're going to see what, what what's there. You know, 
I guess it, it, it holds food products right here. As you can see, there's a lot of vendors right here. This guy will actually, yeah, give us pokey treats to, to this lady. Yeah, you're gonna have to pay. Yeah, this is the place where you actually make uh, smoothies, puffins, and all that stuff. Yeah, not gonna deal with that right there. Okay, so let us move on and uh, see what else is there to, to do right here in Va Veilstone City. Veilstone. It's so hard for me to just keep on saying it. There's a casino there. And if you talk to this girl, she'll tell you about the TMs that you get. And this guy is French. Oh, God. I know what he said. It's just whatever. And there is an area right there where you need rock climb for. And uh, don't really need to go anywhere else right here. So let's go straight to the casino. Or talk to this guy. There's a clown giving a coin case away. So we have to find that clown. And then get that coin case. And this guy right here is talking about the hidden machine uh, fly. Which, of course, we will be needing pretty soon right here. And then, uh... Alright, so... There should be a hidden item right here, right? No. Then why do they leave? Okay. That always confuses me right there. And then, uh, let's see. Talk to this guy. Uh, okay, so he gives us a TM-63. And let's see what it is. Someone, oh, it's an embargo. Yes. So that's for any kind of moves that, you know, any other Pokemon have that are the same. Whatever. It stops them. And uh, this guy talking about the scarf and whatever. This leader right here, she's saying that I'm tired. You can give a massage. Okay, so she will give your Pokemon a massage. So if you guys are having any kind of Pokemon that can evolve through happiness, this is the place to go. You know, go here every single day. Increase the love and affection of your Pokemon. Bam. It will evolve. And then we also get ourselves a snow crystal as a, an accessory, too. Which is also good. And, alrighty, what's next? Okay, so this is the, uh, this is where the Veilstone City Gym is. And Dawn's right here, and she's like, are you here to take the challenge? Uh, she went shopping to the, in the department store, and she's trying to get her Pokedex fixed. And, whoa, would you look at this guy? His name is Crasher Wake. And, uh, oh, yeah. He looks like a Lucha Libre star. Nacho Libre. And he's challenging the gym leader right here. Yes, I am. She's young. She was born like me. Yada, yada, yada. Triple threat battle. I'm a triple... Th he's a triple threat. He's a wrestler, a Pokemon gym leader, and a singer. Wow. Yeah. it's kind of an odd guy right there. So, he, she's going to go challenge that guy. And I'm... I, well, I'm at liberty to go battle this person right here. But there's still stuff to do here that I need to do before I sign off. I know it's been a quick one. And let's see. There's mysterious rocks right here. I don't think there's like any kind of hidden items right now. But yes. Let's see. Uh, Veilstone City. You can actually find Team uh, Galactic stuff right here. Um, there's a hidden machine somewhere around here. As you can see, Team Galactic's uh, workshop is right here. And we will be going here eventually, you know, later on in our story. Uh, it holds a great importance to the whole storyline. A uh, very, very sad one. I usually think that the leader of Team Galactic is the most sinister one. And look at that. We found ourselves a rare candy. Something that we really need, I guess. And uh, well, I guess that's pretty much it right there for this town, guys. Uh, stay tuned. In the next episode, we will be taking the gym challenge. So see you guys.